<sighs> I messed up. Now I just need to fix it and I'm gonna do the shadow root. Shadow roots blend it in. Be careful. Oh, oh my god. Oh, it's like watching a horror movie. Have you seen my new bottle? It's like my thumbnail. It's like my logo. I really like it. It's original. I did not make it by myself. I just found it in the shop and it was like, I have to have this. This is, this is really nice. Maybe one day I will have my own water bottles. Hey, hello and welcome to a new reaction video. My name is Herr Buda and I'm so happy that you clicked on this video. We are going to see another bleach fail because there's a lot of bleach fails on the internet and you can always learn from their mistakes so you don't make the same mistake as they are. Before we start, can I please ask you to subscribe to my channel, press that notification bell. You can follow me on Instagram, you can follow me on Facebook and on TikTok. So let's jump right in to the video and see what they did wrong. It's time. It's time. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? It's me, Britt. You can't see Holly, but her It's me, is... Holly. <laughs> We're halfway through the, the bleaching process. Just wanted to do a little update. You can't really see much right now, but like... It's all happening, it's, guys. It's happening. Trust the process. Peace out. What did you do? Just bleach? How many volumes did you use? We don't get any information? Normally it's always 30 or 40 volumes. I never see somebody bleaching their hair with 20 volumes because that's the way how you should do it. 20 volumes and then bleach it again. It's better to do it two times than one time. But hey, nice back. There are two good things that they did. They, she asked for a friend to help and she was taking good sections. This is really good. Maybe it's not a hair fail. We just finished Brittany's hair. Sorry, I was drinking wine because I'm an alky. <laughs> Tell the people how it feels. Um, itching and burning, itching and burning. Not stanky and fishy though. Um, we've been here since 1 p.m. We started dyeing it, bleaching it. I like 130. Yeah, we've used how much fucking whatever this Two is. Two bottles of this, basically. Was that full before? Yeah, I think so. Oh, shit. It's a good thing that you have a lot of product. Saturation is, is very good. So, hey, good. We're just waiting for this to develop. Is this what this process is called? Now? Yeah. Going to develop for half an hour. Should we put a plastic bag on your head? Yeah, maybe. Okay. <laughs> Um, but yeah, just want to pop in, tell you how it's going. I'll show the finished product. So first off, obviously, we bleached it. We mixed powdered bleach with some developer, some cream developer. Um, we went through a lot of it because my hair is really, really thick. It may not look it, but like, just trust me on this. It's pretty thick with two C's. Did one layer of it, let that develop. I think I left it, we left it for like 40 minutes, I want to say. Washed it out, dried it completely. We bleached it again, this time doing the roots. Let it process again, wash that out. Did toner, left that in for another half an hour, and then rinse that out and use conditioner. And then it was still slightly purple last night. Went home from Holly's place, and then I rinsed it out one more time, and then let it dry overnight. It took forever to dry for some reason, and I don't know if that's because there's still toner or shampoo left in it. It's because your hair is damaged. If your hair is damaged, then it's taking forever to dry. If it's damaged, then it will not dry anymore. So if you are having problems drying your hair, then that's a sign that you overprocessed your hair and it's really, really, really damaged. It looks okay. We don't have a good light, but it seems okay from this point. So is the video already finished or what is the end goal? Because I don't see any big hair fail. 
So I had mad roots, right? We know this from the last video. I pointed it out specifically. I wanted to try and fix it. And Holly so graciously left me with all of her hair supplies. So basically I had two options. I could either go with my natural root and just kind of make it into a shadow root. Or I thought what might be a good idea is to bleach my roots. It's really yellow. It doesn't look that bad in the front, but um, just... <gasps> I messed up. Oh, from the previous clip, I thought it was looking very good, but she has yellow roots and they missed a spot. How do you miss a spot if you have help and you take sections and so many products? How? Yeah, basically you couldn't reach the back at all. Just really messed it right up. Now I just need to fix it and I'm gonna do the shadow root. Oh, this is the second time. So the first time was with her friend and the second time that we see now is because she did it on her own, I guess. What most people recommended is to start with your part line and then go into your hairline because those are the parts that are gonna be seen the most. So you really don't want to mess those parts up. I'm so scared. Okay. This is the reason why you are asking somebody to help you. Because I think the first time that we saw it was a good, a good application was with a friend and a good end result. And the second end result okay. was because she did it by herself. And now she's going to do shadow roots. You will have to take your hair a section and then you go back and forth with your the hair between your fingers back and forth because you want it to blend it in be careful and if you are using an ash color ash brown ash dark blonde and you are going to rinse it off the lengths are so porous it will absorb many ash pigments many blue pigments and it will turn out really ashy, really blue. So be careful. Oh, you can see it like working already. That's nuts. Oh, my hairline's so jacked up too. Fuck. Why did I do that to myself? happening fast is that bad ah, okay 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 sorry guys I'm not talking much because I am concentrating this is hard this is really hard oh you missed a lot of spots But hey, that's a good idea to get rid of these orange regrowth. Quick little update. Um, it's super dark. <laughs> it's been half an hour, so I'm going to wash it out now. And then I'm going to put in some purple shampoo and leave it sort of as a toner. Purple shampoo is not a toner. Purple shampoo is not a toner. Update. Purple shampoo is in my hair. I'm still nervous. There's a few parts right in here that were still really yellow, which is what we were trying to get rid of. So that's scary. I think if there's still yellow tones in it, what I'm gonna have to do is actually go to Sally's and get some toner, like real toner, not just shampoo toner. I will update once I've washed this out. Oh. oh my god! Oh, it's like watching a horror movie. Oh. What did you use? It's not just dark blonde, it's nearly black that you are using. And the first clip was so nice, it was really nice color. Why going from that color to mess up so badly. Um, it's been a couple days since this 
disaster happened. A few mistakes were made. A few? Uh, bleaching my hair beforehand, bleaching my roots, bad idea. Didn't have enough bleach, didn't have toner. Thinking that I could fix it myself and do the roots myself, also a bad idea. Would not recommend. I used too dark of dye as well, also not a good idea. As you've seen from the pictures, um, I looked more like a leopard and it just, it w wasn't a vibe. It just didn't look that good. I will admit that this, it, it was a dumb idea. So I searched up walk-in salons. I looked at the reviews. Uh, there was one called Fantasy Cuts. There was one review that said she bleached her hair at home and then she messed it up and she went there and they fixed it the day of. So I was like, sick. Because that's basically what I did. So hopefully they'll be able to help me today as well. Uh, they looked at me. They're like, what's up? I took off my hat and I was like, help. I did this and I regret it and I don't know why I did it. <laughs> and they're like, okay, yeah, sit down. So we decide, bring the dark color that I had tried to use to do the shadow roots, bring that down, add a few low lights, and then also tone the, the blonde. Because even the blonde down here was kind of getting a little brassy. And I was like, sick. Yes, please. Do whatever it needs. This was at like 1 p.m. But basically she fixed it and this is this is it. So that's what happened. This is the result. If you got some sort of entertainment out of this video or else it was all for nothing. Nice color correction. Well done. Well done from my colleague. We didn't hear how much she paid because color corrections are really, 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 really expensive. She said she could not reach the back. So ask somebody, ask somebody to help you so you see the back. It's really difficult to do your hair at home alone. So maybe ask, everybody has somebody that can help. And if you have to wait till next week, wait till next week. Don't stand up in the morning as saying, okay, I want to color my hair. I don't have enough product. I don't have anybody to help. And toning with purple shampoo, it's never working. Purple shampoo is not a toner. It's not, not. Be careful if you are putting darker roots so you have to blend it in more. But a better idea is to go to that salon in the first place. But I get it, I get it, I get it. Sometimes you wanna do it by yourself uh, because you don't have maybe the money to do it in the salon or uh, the salons are closed, it's Sunday, uh, but maybe you can wait until the next day or you are afraid of hair salons because you had bad experiences in a hair salon. I get that. I get that stories many, many, many times. So I get that. But maybe watch a few videos of hair fills. Watch another video of mine, how to bleach your hair at home. And maybe you will not have the same hair fill as she has. But what an end result. Well done. Have you learned from this video? Have you been entertained by this video? Please give this video a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends. You can follow me on Instagram. You can follow me on Facebook and you can follow me on TikTok. All I'm going to say today is ciao kus.